Hi, I'm Jason Tabot, founder of DaVinci Medical, and welcome to our series of frequently asked questions about red light therapy. What is red light therapy and what can it do for you? To keep it simple, because it's really complex, it, it is very scientific. It's gonna slow the aging of your cells. Your cells make up tissues, tissues make up organs, your organs make up you. So if somebody opened you up and looked at your aging wheel and it's moving 100 miles an hour, what speed would you want that wheel to go to? If you're like me, I wanna put the brakes on and hit, hit it to zero. Very difficult to do, but light does that. Light will slow that aging wheel down to a crawl. And how does that happen? So a cell, specifically a cell with a mitochondria, and that's a cell that can actually make ATP, and those are found traditionally in tissue cells, muscle cells, those are not red blood cells. And they're making all sorts of things. They're communicating, they're converting things to energy, they're wasting, there's, there's a whole factory in the mitochondria. Now, in the mitochondria or in that factory, while it's supposed to be making energy or ATP, known as adenosine triphosphate, it can become overwhelmed by something you all know called free radicals. These are little thieves that come in and steal electrons and they slow the, the process down and they actually cause oxidative stress. When you open up an apple and it turns brown, that's oxidative stress or reactive oxygen species. So how do we stop that process, that rusting, if you will, at the cellular level? How do we slow that down? Well, when light gets absorbed by a cell, a phenomenon occurs where the free radical is kicked out. Okay, that free radical is called mitochondrial nitric oxide. So it's kicked out. It's disassociated from something called cytochrome C oxidase, this little enzyme at the end of the electron transport chain. And, and I'll, I'll make it more simple in a second, but mitochondrial nitric oxide gets kicked out so oxygen can come back in with fewer competitors and dock on cytochrome C and make ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now that cell makes energy more optimally and stays alive longer. You're alive longer. You heal faster. Let's give you another analogy. Let's just say at night you leave your house and there's burglars running around stealing things, the appliances, the wiring, the switches, the air conditioning, the heater, you name it, they're stealing it. You come back to the house, right? House is inoperable. But let's just say that right before they start stealing things, the floodlights go on and they go, oh no, we're busted. And they go running out blinded by the light and they run into the fence. And let's call that fence the human artery. Well, that's a good thing because when mitochondrial nitric oxide hits the artery, it relaxes the artery, helps dilate it, vasodilates and improves blood flow. But now the oxygen doors are wide open and oxygen can come back in and make ATP optimally. Just like with an apple, if you cut it open and it starts to brown, you can put lemon juice on it. It'll slow that process. Think of light as lemon juice for the cells. So yes, your skin's gonna look better. Your hair, your vision might improve. You're gonna have greater range of motion. Maybe you're gonna have a better workout. You're gonna have a better recovery. Maybe you lose a little bit of weight because your metabolism is all fired up. All 11 organ systems can start to do what they normally do optimally. This isn't about a targeted therapy. You can't say, well, it does just this one thing. It doesn't do anything else. It, it affects the entire body. It's basically, fixing the foundational problem at the cellular level. No more oxidation, no more inflammation, which causes pain and reduces blood flow. So the body goes back to a normal state and your 11 organ systems will love you and start to do what they always do. Self-correct, repair, regenerate. And that is in effect, what red light therapy will do. So whether you're having trouble sleeping, you wanna improve your world record, maybe you're a top athlete, maybe you can't lift your granddaughter or your grandson, maybe you're winded when you go outside and walk a couple blocks, all of these things that you do in your daily life, no matter what it is, no matter what label you put on it, you're gonna see an improvement. 
Hopefully that helps and watch the next video. Thank you.